everyone, welcome to the tutorial on how to fix the screen for the Lenovo T520. And uh, I'll take you through the steps. And uh, first things first, what you need is the small screwdriver and a flat blade, small, really small flat blade screwdriver. Okay, so let's start. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take out these little squares out here. Now the difficult part about this is that they're not rubber squares, so you got to have to be careful with them. Um, next, you're going to take the screwdriver and you're going to unscrew the three screws down here. There's one screw. Then we'll go ahead and take the second one out. Okay, so with those three screws gone, the front bezel should be loose now. So you're going to take the front bezel and slowly pop it out of place. It should come out fairly easily. So, oh, the camera's shaking. Just be gentle with it because you don't want to bend any of the plastic parts that are holding the bezel in place. And that's that. Bezel off. So there's going to be screws, four screws, here, 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 and here. And we're going to go ahead and unscrew them. Duh. If you're going to be doing this job, make sure you... Uh, you don't really need to, but it'd be nice to have a magnetic screwdriver because these screws are pretty small. And uh, make sure you place your screws in a place where you can remember where they are uh, belong to. Maybe put it in a bag and label it. Or simply put it in an area where you can designate the screws on where they belong. And in this case, these four screws belong in these metal parts right here, 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 and here. Next, we're going to get the four screws on here right here and down here and then uh, there's going to be two more on the other side in the same place so we'll go ahead and unscrew that and uh, you can gently guide the back part this way so that you can unscrew these and these are the smallest screws so make sure you don't lose them and if you're unscrewing them and they pop out, just make sure you grab it right away. Make sure you hold the screen when you're unscrewing the last one. Because there's going to be a ribbon cable behind the screen, so you don't want the screen to fall out and then break the ribbon cable. Okay, so that's done. So now it's going to be loose off these metal pillars. So what you're going to do is take the screen, gently 
place it like so. Here's the ribbon cable that you're going to take out. It's stickered, or taped on rather, not stickered, taped on. And you're going to remove this tape right here, fold it back until this metal piece is and then show them. gently pull the ribbon cable out. And there you go. The broken screen is off. Here's the new screen from laptopscreen.com. And uh, freshly packaged. So we'll go ahead and take this plastic piece off. So there's the piece that we're going to attach the ribbon cable to. Very gently push this ribbon cable into that slot. Make sure you don't bend it too much. Always be very gentle with it. And if it's going to take you a long time to put it in, you know, just be patient. Because you don't want anything breaking. And then, uh, We'll put the sticky parts back on so that it's secured and in place. Alright, before we go ahead and screw the pieces back on, you can uh, insert the power, the battery, or the cable, the AC adapter, and turn it on to see if the screen works. And in my case, it does. So that is very good news for me. I should warn you, uh, I actually didn't do it in this tutorial, but make sure you take out the battery or the AC adapter when uh, you begin this project for safety purposes. So, uh, my bad. I didn't do that in this tutorial, but safety first. Just a, a little reminder. So uh, we'll go ahead and shut okay. this down. So the computer is shut off. And, uh, well, what you do now is basically retrace the steps. But, uh, make sure you support the screen in place like that. This is the hardest part putting these small screws back in the screen slot. Okay, we'll do the other side. Okay, so now the screen is securely in place, so we'll just go ahead and push the back part in. Align it with the screw holes, so take our trusty screws here and we'll screw them back into place. Thankfully, these screws are much, much easier to put in. Okay, screws are in place. Screen is securely fitted so now we'll put the bezel in just gently pop it in go ahead and screw the three screws in here And 
then we'll take our rubber pieces wherever you place them. These small little black plastic pieces, we'll take them and stick them back on. So let's put your battery and AC adapter in. There we go. Perfect, perfect working screen. I want to thank laptopscreen.com for the screen. And uh, I definitely suggest uh, buying the screens from them. Uh, a lot of inventory, uh, they'll more than likely have the screen for your laptop, and as I can see here, a perfect working screen. So, there we go. That's how you fit a new screen on the Lenovo T520. Thanks for watching, and I hope this uh, helped you guys.